Okay, so we're doing something a little bit different here. Uh, uh, last year in December and uh, this year in January. January. Yeah, welcome back to Johannes can't speak English at all. I, I guess. Um, anyway, um, I made uh, lists of uh, my favorite hit songs for every year since I was born and um, since then I, I've started this uh, little project of sorts to draw every song uh, that ended first on one of my lists uh, year lists from um, 1988 to uh, this year I haven't made the 2020 uh, list yet. I'm waiting for the the French version of the the Hot One 100 for the year, basically. And um, uh, for for uh, for people who who aren't aware of this yet, I I have synesthesia. And. Um, uh, so sound to color synesthesia which means uh, when I listen to music uh, music has shapes and colors um, in my in my ears um, what it means on a, a concrete way is uh, I don't see the music with my eyes i i see it with my ears at the same time as i hear it the sounds have colors and shapes so uh it means i can draw songs basically and um what i'm doing what i've been doing with this project is i've been do draw trying to to draw um synesthesia version of uh, every number one on my lists. Um, I'm gonna grab my old uh, sketchbook from earlier this year to show you. Um, uh, here's the one I made for um, Enjoy the Silence uh, by Depeche Mode. So the song starts here. And uh, that's uh, verse, chorus, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, repeating chorus until the end. That's the ding at the end of the of the one of the versions of the song ends with this noise at the end. Uh, that's the white dot at the end. Sorry for the noise. So yeah. Um, uh, so far, I made three uh, drawings in this series. As you can see uh, in the corner, I draw something from the either either the music video or what I just uh, picture in my head while listening to it. Um, this this is just a drawing based on the ending of the music video for the one I'm trying to make. Um, I'm just doing that part because I'm still not sure how I'm going to draw uh, the song itself. I I see it in pretty clearly in my head, but I, I'm still not sure how to translate it to paper. The problem is um, if I put the song in this video, I'm gonna get uh, copyright copyright striked. So. Uh, and and to do these things, I have to listen to to the song on the loop, basically, and and go back and listen to some bits and to make sure I am drawing them properly. Like uh, like what what you would do if you were trying to draw uh, a scene from a movie, but you can't. Uh, but a movie that you can't uh, 
take a screenshot of because I can't take a screenshot of uh, music for very obvious reasons. So uh, if you you if you were trying to draw something from a movie and couldn't take a screenshot, you would uh, watch the the same part over and over again. That's basically what I need to do with the song. And that's uh, kind of tedious, <laughs> but uh, it makes it makes it easier to to get it right. Uh, so the song is um, "Désenchanté" by French uh, singer Hélène Farmer. That was my number one for my. Uh, 1981 list um, uh, it's a very important song for me it's a very important uh, part of my life um, when I was a teenager I was a big uh, Eden Farmer fan for, for various reasons uh, I, I liked her, the, the world, the various worlds and characters in her music videos, mostly. It, I know it sounds weird to, to like an artist, mostly because of music videos and not like the actual music. I like the actual music a lot, a lot, but um, the music videos were really good and that that's really what what was the appeal for me and it was one of my special interests for for the longest time so yeah now I'm while this is uh, drying I'm gonna put the song in my headphones and um, just in my headphones to avoid getting copyright Right strike. And I'm gonna pick the colors here, the colors I'm hearing. That's orange. Her voice is really blue, very, very blue. That's not blue. This is blue. Yeah, that's more. Uh, I don't know, maybe. The voice is like this. That's the voice. And there's the. The, the horns that go very bright and very the the difficult thing is that it goes um, the background is lighter in some places yeah the chorus is more like uh, white and uh, oh there's a it's very difficult i'm sorry i'm i'm listening at the same time so we are about there in the song when i'm listening it goes dark again there about here We are gonna, yeah, read more about there. So yeah, there's a, a chorus there. That's uh, white there, and it goes black again there. 
ってやつキャーウォーキャーウォートテトテトテトテトテキャーウォー This is black, this is black, this is black, this is black, this is not and、uh, it goes black to the end there Uh, so, I'm gonna indicate the clear parts with another color. I'm gonna back to the, going back to the beginning. I'm gonna try to place the, the horns. There's a, at the very beginning, there's some there. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Put it、uh, quicker. There's、uh, one here. Uh, no, it's, it's sooner. The, the, the clip, the music video is, is very dark. It's, it's good, it's very dark. It's uh, about a、um, uh, revolution starting or, or a riot in some sort of prison or, or place where people are, are working against their will. And、um, yeah, there's horns there too. It's very, it's very well. Made and、uh, very cool, and but it's also kind of brutal. I, for that reason, I, I was、uh, wondering if I if I, it was a good idea to, to, to give a link to the video、uh, when I made my post about it. Yeah, the horns here, so the short ones are back. And now they're on the Chorus as well.、Uh, wha- what was on my uh, 1980, 1991 uh, list? s、uh, uh, The last one was, I think it was、uh, Fading Like a Flower, my box set. And.、Um, Uh, which, which was weird because、uh, w- when I wrote the list, I,、uh, I, I first wrote the list, and the day I posted it,、uh, the, the singer from Roxette died. So it was, it was re- really weird because I hadn't thought about this band in years.、Uh, the... The next one on my list was、uh, Shiny Happy People by REM, and I, I stated that、um, a while ago I, I, saw,、um, I saw someone calling this song、uh, their worst song because、uh, it was, I quote, too happy to feel genuine, and it was kind of disturbing, implying that's a flow and not a feature. <laughs> Next one was also,、uh, yeah, it's one on my list, was also Milan Farmer. It was、uh, Je t'aime Melancholie, which is a really weird song where she's attempting to rap, which isn't great, <laughs> but it's really funny. I, I mean, I'm not sure how to explain it. it it's bad, but it's,、uh, it's bad in a funny way. And the, the chorus is fun. Uh, the seventh one on my list for that year was Wind, Wind of Change by Scorpions, which it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of obvious.、Uh, I know that. 
what I'm doing right now is adding the voice in the middle. Uh, the sixth one on my list was uh, Poupée Psychédélique by uh, Thierry Hazard. And which I really loved when I, I was a kid. It's a really fun song. Next one was, uh, the fifth one was The One and Only by Chesney Hoax, uh, which is uh, the first song on my Fitzcrainer playlist. <laughs> I am the one and only. I, I, I know it's kind of, uh, I know it's ironic, uh, that's exactly why I on my playlist. Uh, next one is a uh, French song by uh, Fredericks, Goldman and Jones. Uh, the song is called uh, Neon Lisette uh, Born in uh, 1917 uh, in Leidenstadt and it's a very potent song uh, if you can if you don't know about it. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about it here. It's, uh, I encourage you to, to find the, a translation if you're not a French speaker. Uh, listen to the song and find a translation. It's, it's kind of impressive. The third one uh, on the list was um, Losing My Religion, R.E.M. And I have a very, very strange relationship with this song because I used to absolutely love it. It was one of my fav favorite songs ever. Back when I was a making list, when I was 14 or 15, it, it was in my top five, I think. And uh, I don't know what happened. Like next year or so, I... It's not that I couldn't stand it anymore. I, I just lost all interest in that song all of a sudden. And I, I don't know. And I still like it, but I, I'm never trying to listen to it act, act in an active way, if that makes sense. It's it's really strange. So it's on my list, because I still like it, but um, I don't know what happened. Uh, it's, it's really strange. The second one on the list was uh, Crazy by Seal, uh, which would easily have been number one on my list if it wasn't, if it wasn't the year. Désenchanté was a hit. Um, I don't have a lot of room left on the on the camera. I'm gonna make uh, the the dark part with the piano. The song is more blue than outright dark. It's strange too. It's really difficult to um, explain. It's kind of funny. I never tried to to draw this song before, since it was very important for me for years. It's, I mean, it's what the exercise is about, but it's it's kind of funny that the songs I attempted to to draw over the years uh, didn't include Désenchanté. So yeah, I'm gonna have to make room on the, on the phone and I, I'll come back. Welcome back to this uh, synesthesia painting and uh, to Désenchanté. So, welcome also, welcome back to me probably talking about uh, Milan Farmer a lot. And uh, also, um, welcome to me uh, doing unspeakable things to the English language again. A uh, quick shout out to anyone who's watching this video uh, at double speed because I know some uh, <laughs> of you do this. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you're entirely justified. I, I talk su super slowly. 
and these videos are super long because I, I I don't make cuts. What I'm trying right now is to uh, draw the from the song. So I, I, I guess I, I should uh, clarify for English viewers who uh, Milan Farmer is. Also, I, I should probably say that I, I continued while I wasn't filming because uh, the little characters there weren't the interesting part, so I decided to do them, to finish them off screen. And I also put some inks uh, off screen because that wasn't very interesting to see, so. Uh, yeah, that was to save some time. Um, yeah, so. Uh, uh, Milan Farmer is, uh, as you already. as you can already guess. Is a French singer. Uh, she started singing in the eighties, and she's still uh, she's still doing it. Uh, she's she's still around. Her style e evolved a lot over the years, uh, and uh, music is only a part of what she's actually doing because um, not really nowadays, but. Um, Especially at the beginning, the the guy who was working with her, uh, called uh, Laurent Boutonna, who was the guy who made the the music of the of her songs. Um, also, basically, the guy wanted to do c cinema and uh, movies, but it, he was in the music industry. And uh, apparently it was frustrating to him, I don't know. Um, and and uh, right at this time was when uh, music videos were starting to get big everywhere. And he was like, hey, uh, I, I'm looking for someone to sing a, a song. Uh, I, I wrote, I'm also looking for someone who would act in the music video, uh, if you, if that's your thing. And uh, this lady was like, yeah, I can do that. And uh, basically, every new song they put out together, they made together, would have a, a really, really either strange or, or ambitious music video. And um, at the time, that was kind of new, especially in, in France, because... Uh, in the US there was more budget and um, usually for music videos usually and um, that attracted a lot of attention and uh, that really helped the team uh, the team's success and they also because the videos were so weird or so ambitious they also uh, really quickly built a, a very, very passionate and dedicated fan base. And uh, if you've never watched any of the early music videos from... I'm keep, I keep saying the project because um, it wasn't just her, she, they were a team. Milan Farmer is basically uh, <laughs> the name of a band uh, at the beginning because... It's uh, her her singing and uh, writing the songs mostly, and him making the the music and uh, the music videos. And uh, yeah, they very very quickly built their the fa fan base mostly around the music videos. Uh, there's, I I think one of the most striking early ones is uh, one for the song called uh, Tristana. And basically, it's uh, <laughs> some sort of dark 
version of uh, Snow White happening in Russia for some reason. And uh, so everyone is... is uh, whenever people are, are talking and instead of singing, uh, everything is in Rus Russian. I, I pr I'm pretty sure everyone has a terrible accent. But, <laughs> but yeah. And... Um, and uh, there's uh, some sort of strange plot twist at the end, or a subversion, maybe, of the original story, when the, the, the kiss doesn't uh, work, and uh, she stays dead, and um, everyone's super sad, obviously, but... The ending is really weird because you you see her dead, but you also see her uh, running and playing in the snow as as if she was alive. So it's a really strange and kind of haunting ending. I don't know. But yeah, the the, the music videos were very ambitious and strange. And um, on the next album, it it reached some sort of paroxysm with uh, at the time which was, I'm not even sure uh, someone made something longer since but at the time there was one of the music videos which was the longest music video ever made in in France uh, for the song uh, Pour Vécu Sois Douce and it's, it's really insane it's in, in full costumes and uh, really, there's really, really bad humor. Uh, there's uh, sword fights, battles. There's uh, weird symbolism. There's a very, very gruesome fight in the mud. It's and it's nearly twenty minutes long, and it's really insane. And all of that uh, for a song about butts. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the, the second album had a, a lot of good songs. My favorite is uh, one of my favorite songs ever, uh, Sans Contrefaçon. And uh, then the tour up happened, and uh, the duo came back in the very, very early uh, 90s with the third album, which was extremely uh, gothic. I, I mean, the, the, the first two ones were pretty dark and pretty... pretty gothic too, in a way, but... I, I mean really like the the third album has a crow on the cover <laughs> and everything <laughs> and uh, the first single was Désenchanté which is what I'm drawing currently and what I'm listening while making this which you can't hear because I don't want to get copyright striked yeah and um and Laurent Boutonna went, okay, we're gonna do a really, really expensive music video again. And it's it's shorter than some of the previous ones, but it's still one of the most incredible ones that they made, they've made. And um, I, I really like it, it's one of my favorite they, they made. And uh, it's on YouTube, you can, uh, you can watch it. Uh, uh, just be aware there's a... Uh, it's kind of it's kind of brutal at times there's there's gun there's people there's guns being fired there's people dying there's fire people getting hit it's um it's about um, i'm i'm going to spoil spoil it right now so if you haven't watched it if you never never watched it and uh, you're interested just Pause my video, go see it, and and I'll I welcome you back later here. So yeah, it's about um, 
it's kind of a, a long metaphor about uh, uh, revolts, revolution, revolutions and riots. It's um, people inside uh, being held inside uh, some sort of a factory or or camp of some sorts where they're forced to work, 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 and and nothing else. And um, at some point, uh, the main character, who's obviously Milan Farmer, uh, complain. It, it, it starts really small, and uh, she she complains about uh, the food. Uh, she complains about the soup they're eating because she found a bug in it, and uh, and she gets hit in the face because she complained, and uh, she climbs on a table and starts throwing stuff around just just because she's pissed off basically and it starts a, a riot just because the food was bad there there there's a lot of horrible things going on around them but it starts just because the food is bad like like revolutions sometimes start with very very small things and uh, it escalate escala escalates escalates oh i don't Welcome back to me, uh, uh, brutalizing the English language. Uh, it gets worse, and uh, very quickly, and uh, there's a lot of chaos and uh, and destruction all around. And uh, they completely trash the camp. They 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 kill some soldiers, and they they manage to get out of it. And. Uh, Spoilers, uh, they, they're super happy at first, they, they're running um, to, to freedom. And uh, there's the, the best part is the ending, because they, at some point they start, they stop running, and they look at what they're actually doing, and they realize that this uh, place was in the middle of nowhere, and they're basically running in the... the in a desert covered in in snow, like it's some sort some sort of step or I don't know. It's uh, it, it it's really really big, <laughs> full of snow, and there's nothing. Like there's not even not even like smoke on the horizon to to indicate there's some some sort of house in the distance. There's nothing at all. For miles and miles and miles, as far as the eye can see, so they they're free, but uh, there's nothing. They if they want to, if they want something new, they have to build it from scratch, and uh, like uh, as soon as the euphoria of being free uh, stops, they they realize. Now they'll have to to build the the new world they want to be in themselves, and it's kind of the ending is very bittersweet because they they're just walking towards the horizon together and uh, kind of slowly drifting apart from one another, and we we don't know where they're gonna end up if they're gonna find someone, build something new. We don't know what go what's going to happen. And uh, it's a very open ending, and I really enjoy that. But yeah, it's a music video that really tells a little story, and I, I'm i always a sucker for music videos that try, try to tell stories. And that one's a good one. So... So yeah, that's what I, I drew in the corner, that's right before they realize they're running towards nothing. And when I discovered this video, actually when I discovered uh, Milan Farmer, period, I was um, 14. And um, I was really blown away by by her 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 multiple characters 
the little universe in her music videos. Of course, the songs were good. I, I loved the songs, but uh, they they wouldn't have fa fascinated me that much without the visuals. Uh, so I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm I'm working while talking, and uh, yeah, we yeah, it's 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 going rather well. Um, I'm gonna try to finish the start, so um, I'm gonna need some ink because the the dark is, the dark part is really dark. So yeah, it was uh, that was one uh, a big special interest of mine uh, when I was younger. It lasted for years, even. Um, and uh, she was still making pretty good music uh, when I was uh, still in full special interest mode with her. But over the years, the albums started to become a little less interesting, and even if some of the concepts behind behind them were still pretty good. Um, I, I wasn't as fascinated with the new ones as I was with the old ones. Also there was a distinct lack of <laughs> recurring characters. So um, uh, like most special interests uh, it, it calmed down over time. I... My mother really, really didn't approve me liking Ian Farmer. Really, really, really. Uh, actually, she didn't approve of anything I, I liked uh, as a teenager, especially music things. Um... And uh, Milan Farmer wasn't even her her biggest uh, enemy <laughs> among the various bands I liked. Uh, she didn't like that I liked Li Linkin Park. She didn't like that I liked Placebo. Oh, she hated Placebo so much. But most, m worst of all, she really hated a French band called uh, Indochine. Which I really really liked, but yeah, Milan Farmer was also one of her big, uh, let's say, uh, let's say ber berserk buttons. <laughs> she hated her. She she hated hearing her on the radio. She would turn turn the, the friggin' radio off. Just because she was on the radio, that's how, how strong the hatred was. The thing is, um, Ryan Farmer cultivated a, 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 a very um, provocative image, and um, my mother didn't think that was appropriate. There's a lot of violence in her videos, but also uh, some very inappropriate stuff. And uh, my mother didn't think that was uh, that was good for me in any way. The problem is when you're young, uh, if something is f is forbidden, uh, it's only more interested for. <laughs> In, in your mind, it's like, oh, that's, uh, I'm not supposed to watch this, eh? yeah, that means it's super interesting, so I have to. I, I'm not even sure if they still exist, but um, at the at the time, at least, uh, there were um, actual uh, magazines, uh, made by people in the fandom, but I, I don't mean fanzines, like 
actual uh, publications uh, that you could buy in in regular shops. Uh, the fandom was that big. Like for, for Doctor Who fans, imagine if the, the Doctor Who magazine uh, was about uh, a singer and their music videos. That, that's, that's what we are talking about. That's kind of incredible. And the most incredible thing was that there wasn't just one of these magazines, there were two, made by two entirely different teams, and they, they like, uh, they were even in, in kind of, there was some sort of cold war between them, <laughs> they would uh, make jokes at the expense of the other magazine in, <laughs> in their own pages, which, which is kind of crazy in retrospect. That's... I mean, the, the special interests calm down. I, I, I can't really say special interests die, really, uh, for anyone who has them. Uh, you know, you already know they're like sleeper agents. <laughs> like, they they never disappear. They stay in the in, <laughs> hidden inside a, a little corner of your brain, waiting to be activated again. And... Um, Years ago, something like in uh, 2014, I think, um, Ian Farmer went on, on tour again. And uh, I, I say, I'm say i saying again because at the time it was pretty rare. It's, uh, it was a big event and I was like, oh, there's... No, I'm working. Now I, no, I have the ability to go to concerts, there's no way in hell I'm gonna miss this, even if I'm not interested in her and her, her songs anymore. I kept telling myself like I wasn't some sort of sucker. <laughs> and um, oh boy, the special interest was exactly like a, a sleeper agent just waiting for the activation signal because when I wa w once I was in that uh, concert room, in the pit, uh, be just in front of the stage. And I wasn't even that close, but that was an incredible concert. And uh, you know, the at some point I, I realized, I remembered all the lyrics of the old songs. I was like, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm I, I'm screwed, <laughs> and uh, I was singing along with every single old song. And uh, Desenchanté uh, was really, really, really great. Uh, actually, my favorite one was uh, was Sans Contrefaçon, of course, because that's my favorite song of hers. And uh, they, for that one, they they did some sort sort of. Uh, dance with uh, weapons, fin, staffs, and it was really reminiscent of uh, that one scene in Mulan. And it was really, really fun. And for Desenchanté, there was a, a video uh, with the <laughs> CG spiders in the background because a uh, very, very gothic song. And uh, the person right next to me was a really, really nice lady who, who went, Oh, no, 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 no. I hate spiders. Why spiders? It's my favorite song and they put spiders on it. And I was like, don't look at the screen. I'll tell you when the spiders are gone. <laughs> she was like, you're my savior, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a fun evening. I have very, very fun memories of it. Uh, I'm gonna stop there to let it this dry and I'll come back later. Bye. Welcome back um, uh, to to be perfectly honest, uh, an entire day has passed because I, I kind of have to to redo the the whole setup every time with the 
phone and everything because when I have to transfer a video I have to uh, connect it to my PC so I have to um, move it from the that thing over there I realize I never explained how I filmed these these things uh, basically I have to put my uh, phone with um, how, how do I explain this with things like this I clip it to um, a part of my lamp on my desk the lamp has a huge magnifying glass thing on the separate arm and you can put it in different angles and stuff and um, it's supposed to be used to do very precise work drawings or sewing things basically what you would do with a magnifying glass um, but uh, if you need to use both of your hands and you can't hold a magnifying glass uh, a classic one I mean uh, the the thing is I never use this magnifying glass because <laughs> I have excellent eyes so <laughs> I mean it, it, it I'm sure it's very useful if you if you can't see very well it's but now it's just the thing that holds my phone when I have to film things. <laughs> What I'm doing here is drawing the beginning of the song, which goes, uh, I'm gonna just put it That's piano That's the the orange part is the uh, I, I forgot the name of the thing, which is terrible because last time I, I remembered it the, the horns, the horn section. Uh, yeah, so basically what we are doing this time is uh, the details on this whole thing. I'm not sure I'm gonna film the entire process because it's gonna be pretty tedious. Especially if I if I talk about things you don't really care about the entire way. It's not the same kind here, it goes... It's in several parts. Um, someone on a, on, on a Discord where I was explaining or I was making these things um, asked uh, an interesting question and it was why... I explained I had to... I could get copyright, a copyright strike if I, if I didn't use uh, headphones when making this. Uh, and uh, the person was like, uh, "But why do you even need to listen to the song while you're doing this? Uh, if it's one of your favorite songs in the world, uh, surely you know, you know it by heart, and you know exactly." what goes where, and you, you could draw it without listening to it. And um, that's a really interesting question. Um, the only way I can explain this is uh, if you had a favorite movie, favorite your favorite mo movie in the world, P just picture, picture right now your favorite movie in the world, 
And now um, uh, I am gonna say, I want you right now to draw a, 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 a perfect steel frame of your favorite scene in this movie. And surely you could uh, probably uh, draw an, a, a general idea of the of that that particular part of the movie like uh, you, you, yeah this character was there and this one was here and uh, you you could draw something that looks like that but but that looks like the the scene in question but uh, then you put the movie on and you'd watch the scene and you would like oh, you'd be like oh the colors are all wrong and it wasn't really that angle and that that character didn't have these these clo clothes uh, these you know, that character wasn't wearing this yeah once again welcome back to me butchering the english language uh, you're welcome uh, yeah and uh, you'd be like oh i, I thought uh, i had this the my I thought I was accurate, but uh, I got a lot of things wrong actually. Because uh, what you picture in your mind isn't necessarily close to the truth. is It's more like the idea you have in your mind of what the that part of the movie was like, and you distorted it a bit, and there's stuff you don't remember. And uh, that's the same for, for when I'm trying to draw songs. I mean, uh, I could uh, draw a general idea of a song. If you ask me uh, what what kind of colors is this song or this song, I, I, I would only have to sing it in my head and I'd say, oh yeah, this song is really red. Oh yeah, this song is very dark. The voice of this guy is really green. Uh, stuff like that, but if you'd ask me to to draw the song, I, I I would probably be able to draw the voice. I I would probably be able to to draw um, some details. Uh, the drums are a bit more purple actually. Uh, yeah, sorry, I got distracted. Um, but um, the fine details, uh, uh, no, you, you, I'd, I'd have to listen to the thing to make sure. I, I hope what I'm saying makes sense to you. Uh, <laughs> I. I, I I'm pretty sure it sounds really weird if you if you don't have synesthesia. Uh, uh, if you if you're actually listening to this, uh, uh, I I'd be curious to know your your opinion. Does that make any sense? Or please comment <laughs> and tell me if I'm making sense at all, <laughs> or if it's just uh, just sounds like rubbish. Um, it's too blue. Um, it's more like this, actually, uh, on the edges. I, I should put more ink after afterwards. Um, the thing is, uh, the entire song is going to. I'm going to work on the entire thing, and it's going to be very repetitive, and it's going to look like this for for like. Uh, but half an hour, so I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I want to film the the en this entire part of the process because it's it's kind of tedious uh, to to comment. Uh, I, I I mean, if I had a lot of things to say about this, I I guess so. But um, I already said a lot of things about uh, Milan Farmer, 
I already said a lot of things about synesthesia. Um, I, you know what? I'm just gonna continue doing the the details, and um, I'm gonna cut here video, and um, I'm gonna uh, come back later once I finished uh, most of the really repetitive parts and uh, yeah I, I'll come back at that point and I'll, I'll see if I have more things to say so see you later welcome back uh, as you can see I I worked a lot between last time and now and currently uh, adding the piano which is just little white dots in between the the orange uh, horns I'm I'm listening sorry I'm not uh, talking a lot um, what can I say uh, <laughs> earlier today a friend um, was talking to me about uh, music and she knows I'm uh, I have synesthesia and uh, she really likes uh, k-pop and she went okay Please do something for me. Please describe me the colors of dynamite, my BTS. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I, I spent uh, three minutes to four minutes explaining the colors of dynamite to her. <laughs> it, it was fun. I like that song. I, I'm going to make, uh, uh, like every year uh, for... Uh, st starting now, I'm gonna make uh, one list per year with my favorite song of the previous year. Uh, I started to make the one for this year, but I, I haven't finished yet because um, my lists are based both on the uh, Billboard year-end list uh, and uh, the French the French equivalent and uh, the French equivalent. Uh, isn't out yet, so uh, we're still in December, and it's um, and I can't. Uh... Ooh, this section is a mess. The I never really noticed that. The piano is uh, between the the horns. See, that's what I was talking about. It, it I I never noticed things like that uh, unless I really concentrate on a song instead of just I don't know vibing with it and its colors. I need to listen to that bit. Yeah, that's piano here too. I distinctly remember something. Um, 
Uh, remember I, I talked uh, about the fact that uh, there were several uh, magazines made by Minute Farmer fans back in the day. I'm saying back in the day, but I'm pretty sure there's still one, uh, at least one uh, around. I just haven't bought one in 10 years or so. <laughs> Maybe more. Anyway, um, they, obviously they would make uh, articles about uh, songs. Um, old songs as well as new ones, and um, I, I distinctly remember an article about uh, how they made the music for this one, uh, they, for Désenchanté, and um, uh, the, the usual guy uh, was working with another one, and I forgot wh what his name was, I'm sorry. Uh, but basically, one of them was like, "Okay, we need uh, we need uh, a a bass groove on this song," and the other one was like, "No, no, 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 we need really bright uh, horn section." And uh, they were <laughs> arguing like, "I want this thing, I want this this thing," and they basically had really two very different versions of the same song. And at some point, apparently, uh, Butuna went. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna throw the whole song away because it's it's annoying me that much. And in the end, they were like, "No, okay, uh, you know what? We're just gonna do both." And um, and it works. It works really well with both. I know I have the in mind uh, the that scene in uh, in the. In uh, El Dorado, uh, with the guys going both, both, both is good. <laughs> Need to listen to the beat. I want to know if there's the f song. Yeah, there's a, a really f song here. <clears throat> I'm adding more piano here because piano is everywhere. It's very bubbly. <laughs> to listen to that first part we, without the, the horn section here. Yeah, there's this thing here too, at the beginning. And I forgot to put it here too. Um, where's the... the... The drums have this weird quality that fades during that part. I'm gonna make them fade a bit. I don't know how to explain it. I'm... The, the problem with when I'm doing this is I'm really, really bad at uh, music theory. I can explain uh, things visually, but I, I'm, I'm, I, I really suck at music theory, and I, I tried, I really tried to learn, but um, I don't remember things I'm not really interest, interested in, and um, uh, it's not something that, music theory in itself is not something that I really find very interesting, so I'm trying to make the fade more because it's it's not really translating very well in the way I'm I've drawn it. Oh, there's another another one here that I 
forgot. One of these uh, feather things. I never realized how feathery this song sounded until now. I'm sure there's more f that I haven't noticed yet in the near the end of the song. Yeah, there's one here. Um, here. Here. There's one here as well. Uh, it's starting to look more and more like one of those, uh, you know, deep sea colony creatures that, uh, how do you call them? Siphonophores. <laughs> it's starting to look like a giant siphonophore. <laughs> sort of. Uh, is there one at the beginning I never listened to? Uh, not really, no. Uh, the regular drums. Uh, the drums aren't e echoey enough. Just gonna put them more like this. They they echo a lot. Uh, I think we're almost done. It would, I'm, I'm doing more details would be a bit like overkill. I think uh, it's going. It's already starting to look like a mess in the the central areas. So I'm the voice has uh, a little bit more. Shine over the colors. Um, I'm pretty sure we're almost done. Uh, yeah, I think. I think we're good. Uh, just defining the drums a bit more. They're not exactly white. Um, uh, I, I can't really... Again, putting more details would be like overkill, I think. Uh, this blue is very blue. It's it's more a bit green. Uh, I'm scared to ruin it if I add more colors. Um, how do I do this without ruining the entire thing? Uh, I have a really weird brush that isn't at all made for this, but uh, I think it's made for Chinese ink or something. I'm not sure. Once again, the fact that I love blue uh, is a, was a problem there because uh, this blue is too is too blue. It's supposed to be almost green. Um, I'm not sure I can do this without damaging the entire thing, actually, but I'm gonna try. Oh, the neighbor is... 
He's doing some repair work again. I was hoping he, he was finished because I, I waited the entire day for him to stop doing that and uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, very diluted, over everything. Yeah, it should be okay, it should be okay. That's very scary. That this is the kind of thing I would never do if this was a, a commission. Because uh, I would be too scared to ruin everything. I would probably alter the color in, fo in Photoshop instead of doing this directly on the paper. But uh, this is my drawing, so if it's ruined, it's ruined. Uh, it's, it's my problem, it's not... Uh, so I'm not too stressed about, stressful about it. Yeah, I'm not finding that super stressful. It's, it is a bit, I mean, I, I don't want it to be ruined after an hour of work or so. I just, I just don't think it's very, it's very important. And it kind of makes things funnier for you too, because, like, Johannes, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, don't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more like this. It's, it's blue, but almost green. That's... That was... The previous color I used was terrible for this. That's that's much better. Drying it should look uh, a sort of blue green, strange blue green. And uh, yeah, that yeah that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna add a bit here and there. Not too much. Oops, okay. 